Power. We're blessed around northeast Wisconsin. Water, water everywhere. But communities want to make sure that it's safe to drink. And so now there's a new advisory group in Appleton to study the future of that city's water treatment facility. Yeah, the facility needs to be upgraded to keep up with the new state and federal water quality guidelines. Now, the plant was built in 2001 at a cost of $54 million. It uses high-tech ultra filtration technology but that technology never lived up to the city's expectation and now city officials have to decide how to deal with it in the future fox 11's chad dorn has a balanced look at what the options are it was state-of-the-art technology in 2001 well this was the technology of choice but appleton's water treatment facility may not meet the city's needs beyond 2012. I think we're at uh, a critical point uh, in time where we have uh, a couple of alternatives to look at. Utilities Director Chris Shaw says enhanced state and federal water quality guidelines will mean changes for the water treatment plant. It's really a, a matter of identifying what the community's needs are and maintaining uh, those, those services. To meet that goal, Mayor Tim Hanna and other city leaders plan to form an advisory group to study the future of the plant. The goal of the advisory group is to make sure the city's water treatment facility meets the state's future surface water rules. Technology has matured. There's new technologies that will meet the standard. Options include replacing the current ultra filtration system or adding UV or ozone filtration to it. There's a, a number of alternatives. We want to look at those and get the biggest bang for the buck. Both Hannah and Shaw say the facility is meeting the needs of the city. But Hannah admits he's concerned with what the public's perception of the committee will be. Well, I do worry about that a little bit, and that's why I wanna, we want to remind people the plan is working, and it's working very well. The committee will make a recommendation to the city sometime next year with the goal of keeping the water plant working well into the future. In Appleton, Chad Doran, Fox 11 News. And that advisory committee is going to be selected by the mayor and the utilities committee members at its meeting on Tuesday.